Hey everyone, it's Lance from Christianity Minute. Welcome to the daily devotional series where we spend just a few minutes every day, look at scripture, try to get the day off, start it off right. Now, I know that you are busy trying to work it in. I've got my Bible here, but I know that sometimes you just don't have the time to pull things out. So I'll, pull, uh, I'll go ahead and put scripture from the English Standard Version on the screen so that you can be doing whatever it is in your daily routine, and I'll do the heavy lifting for you. Well, Thursday, the angel Gabriel informed Mary how she would conceive, despite still being a virgin, and he told her the nature of her child. <laughs> Quite a significant event. The angel also told her the good news about Elizabeth's miraculous pregnancy. Mary, despite being frightened, accepts God's message and reiterates that she's only a servant. Well, today, Mary is about to check in and be joyful with her cousin, Elizabeth. We read in Luke chapter 1, starting in verse 39. It says, In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town in Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. Well, Mary had just been given tremendous news about her and her cousin's pregnancy. At some point, not long after this event, she decides to go and visit Elizabeth. And several reasons as to why are possible. We're not told the final reasoning, but a miracle does occur while Mary's there. As soon as Mary arrives, John leaps in her room for joy. And Elizabeth is granted the Holy Spirit knowledge of who the child in Mary's womb will be. Elizabeth is so excited and so happy, she feels so honored and blessed that Mary, the mother of Jesus, would come and see her. Interestingly, Elizabeth, while filled with the Holy Spirit, blesses Mary for not only carrying the Son of God, but for believing what the angel had spoken to her, unlike her husband, Zechariah. How blessed... Are you? Do you believe your blessings? Well, on Thursday, we'll continue with Mary and her excitement for both herself and Elizabeth. We'll go and spend some time with Elizabeth as well. We'll see an extraordinary event occur at that time. We're going to stop there because that's been your Christianity Minute daily devotional for the day. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Feel free to leave a comment if you learned something today. Also, don't forget, if you would like to help me in my effort to make these videos possible, feel free to go to our Patreon page and pledge a dollar or two dollars, whatever it may be, whatever doesn't strain your wallet, and help me out just a little bit. Now, go out and stay positive and keep Christ in mind. Don't forget to come back on Thursday at 5 a.m. as we post these daily devotionals. And I'll see you right here next time on Christianity Minute Daily Devotional.